Hi, I'm Fishy folks, and welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, a wholesale order unboxing. I gotta be honest, folks. Thank you so much for all the orders. I just can't make guppies fast enough or plecos fast enough, and I had to find some wholesale uh, companies that would ship to my house. Actually, this didn't come to my house. This came to the airport, and I had to go pick it up. So I'll tell you the whole story. Go ahead, grab yourself a snack and a beverage, and come on back. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Before I go ahead and get started with the video, if you could do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And then click that notification bell so you can get notified if I release a new video or go live. So for those of you that don't know about wholesale orders when it comes to fish, most of the fish farms are in Florida. I mean, I'm sure there's others in different parts of the country, but most of the ones that I know of are in Florida. And they ship same day. So you place an order, let's say you place it on Monday and their shipping days are Wednesday. Uh, they'll ship you the order airport to airport early Wednesday morning, like five in the morning. And then when the plane gets to your airport, you go to the um, cargo department for that airline and you pick your fish up. This happened to be sent from Florida then it went to, uh, I think, St. Louis, then Chicago, then back to Philadelphia, and that's where I picked up my fish. Uh, the flight arrived at five o'clock. At about six o'clock, my boxes were loaded onto the, or unloaded at the cargo hub, and then I picked them up. And I got two boxes like this. And uh, we're gonna unbox them. All right, here we go. You have your snack and beverage? So, once again, uh, wholesale order, unboxing, and, uh, you know, finding wholesale orders that will sell to a store, Michael's Fish Room, that doesn't have a brick and mortar store is difficult, but, you know, I did my due diligence, I did my research, and I found a company, and this is my first order from them. Uh, but dealing with them via email has been very, very good, very easy. Um, there's a couple other companies that are just they're just more difficult to deal with. So anyway, here we go. Typical styrofoam box, styrofoam lid. We got some plecos. This whole bag is plecos, really small. She told me they're much smaller than. They usually are, and I said, that's fine, I'll just throw them out. So we got some blue-eyed lemon, lemons, that's blue-eyed lemons. We got some long, thin albino and some long, thin regulars. I think these are the long, thin albino. I'm gonna have to check. So this whole box is plecos. And they're labeled, like I said, I've never ordered from there, so I'm trying to figure out exactly what they are. They're really cold, actually. No heat pack. Um, I mean really cold, like colder than I think they should be, but. All right, folks, plecos. We're going to uh, move them off the table and take a look at the other box. Is it plecos? I don't know. So, you might be saying to yourself, well, I want to order wholesale. You know, you need a business license. You need to be a business. Um, usually with, with places, you have to fill out a form. They want to know your tax ID, that kind of thing. I guess you don't need a business license. You just need a tax ID number. This is a few guppies, folks. 200 guppies been running low on mutts, so we got mutt guppies. They call them fancy assorteds. I call them mutt guppies. Um, and we're gonna add them to special tubs inside for now until we can put them outside. So why don't you guys go ahead, refill your snack and beverage while I get this sorted. And uh, yeah, come on back. 
All right, fishy folks, while the fishies are acclimatizing, I just want to show you my temporary tub setup in the fish room. I have these two totes. They're about 40 gallons each. Um, I have seated sponge filters, which of course you can buy on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Uh, there's obviously floating plants, java moss, rickia, and it looks like there's some water sprite. Um, obviously duckweed, because there's duckweed everywhere. And I have the males in one, females in the other, so 100 guppies in each tank. I'm hoping the seeded sponge filters can keep up with the back to, with the uh, the waste load. Um, if not, I will have uh, I will be double dosing Seachem Safe, uh, which you know for 40 gallons double dosing of Seachem Safe is like three grains or some something because it's so concentrated. That's a joke, folks. Uh, also, if I need to change water, I'll just use my pump and pump the water out and refill. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna let these um, acclimatize in here and go through quarantine when I'm done. The plan was to put them outside, but I still I still think it's gonna be too cold. So we'll put them in the 90 gallon mutt tank, which I did some work on today. I thought was was kind of empty, but um, I kind of kind of cleared out the plants and took a look and was able to fill all my orders of mutt guppies. Um, and there's quite a few, uh, there's probably 300 fry in there, so well, I got a heater in there trying to boost their uh, growth and I feed the bejesus out of the fish room actually because uh, I'm home, so I feed it four or five times a day. I'm really loving this, this stuff right here guys, this freeze-dry Cyclops from uh, Ocean Nutrition, sorry, San Francisco Bay Brand, same company. Um, I will put a link down below on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's in retailers yet. I know Amazon does sell it. I think they sold out from the last time I did that, that video about it. Um, but I really love this stuff. Of course, I love the Smartemia, which is upside down. Um, and my buddy uh, Ryan sent this to me when I got uh, those snowflake guppies, this Peri Aquatic Shrimp Flake. It's bright pink. I don't know if you can see the color. That's the color of it. Come on, focus. Focus, there we go. And uh, it smells like shrimp, but the fish go crazy for it. Um, and it looks like it's got some pretty good ingredients. So, all right, what do we got over here? We got the, the lemon blue eyes over here. They're gonna go in this tank. There was two other plecos in here. I got them out, put them in another tank. There were just browns. Um, and so, I hate to do this but I don't have tank space. I have to quarantine new fish with already established fish in my fish room. I don't normally do that, nor do I, I don't recommend it, but I have to do it because I don't have any tank space. So over here we have some long, thin blue eyes. I got three from a, uh, a breeder I purchased and some guppies. I'll go over that in the next fish room tour. And then over here we have the long, thin browns. I'm gonna put them in here. The super reds will go in the old super red tank, and then the long fin albinos will go up here. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Mike, what happened to the super reds? And you had some blue eyes up there. Well, the blue eyes died one day. All of them just disintegrated and died uh, about 10 days after I got them from a wholesale order that I picked up at a local fish store. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's something I did. I don't know if they were sick. Um, I really don't know. I think possibly I turned my heater up, which is right here, and this section gets really, really hot, and maybe they, they got too hot and died. I don't know, but I don't turn the heater up now, and so that's that. Um, and then I came down one day, and half the Super Reds were dead, and by that night, most of the rest of them were dead. By the next morning, all of them were dead. Maybe two days later, all of them were dead. I think I had columnaris, which is like cottonmouth. I had it in this tank, in the black Moscow tank, just moving my creeper stool over, because I'm a fat guy that wants to sit down. And I treated with Furan too, and it seemed to clear it up. I did lose quite a few of these guys, um, but everybody's been healthy now for about two weeks, and I'm still not selling out of this tank. Uh, I still got another two weeks I wanna wait I did have some other males that I have sold uh, that I probably gave in, in mutt orders, but these guys seem to be doing well. They're very fat and ha happy, like me, and uh, hopefully we'll get some fry out of them. Actually, uh, speaking of fry, I'll show you that in the next fish room tour. 
Um, and then, so I had columnaris in here and I lost quite a few fish. I think I must have cross-contaminated uh, the fish room. So I have treated actually every tank um, for it just in case, but I didn't lose any fish in the other tanks, but these three tanks up here, uh, I lost most of my blonde red cobras all of my super reds and all the babies and two of the adults of what was supposed to be green dragons. Although in a further review, I'm not sure if they're actually green dragons. They might just be calicos. Um, so I took the calico that was in here, put it in this tank. And uh, this tank, since I lost everything, I bleached it and I've cleaned it many, many times to make sure. Um, and then I double dosed with Seachem Safe just to make sure. This tank, because uh, I had a survivor and I treated it and it was in this tank for about 10 days healthy, I'm confident this tank is healthy. Same thing with this tank. These guys, these four are the survivors and they're doing much, much better since I treated with Furan 2. And actually I also treated with salt as well. Thank you to my smart friend Callie for telling me about the salt. So we're gonna put the Super Reds back in the Super Red tank. You can see I've labeled it. We got the longfin browns in the longfin brown tank, which is over here. And then of course the longfin albinos up here. So folks, I'm gonna uh, get these in the tank and then show them to you. All right, fishy folks, you might be saying to yourself, Mike, how, what do you do with a hundred guppies? How do you get them in the tank? Plop and drop, baby, plop and drop. They've temperature acclimated now for almost an hour. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open them. Rubber band. This is a big bag, folks. Gonna try to do this as best we can. No guppies were harmed in the making of this video. Oh gosh! I'm fine. Guppies are fine. This makes, oh, one left. Come on, dude. Swim! Did you do it? Yep. Got a couple in the bucket. That's okay. Got a couple floaters. Got to get those out of there. And uh, we'll get these guys out of the bucket. Now you don't want to pour this water obviously into the, the holding tank. All right, that's that. I'm going to get the floaters, grab the females, be right back. All right, fishy folks, we dumped the 100 females. We had five dead, not too bad, 5%, much better than, what's his name? Whoever sent me 70% dead fish. And the males, looks like I got a couple swimming kind of cockeyed. Uh, we'll see if they come back, if they bounce back overnight, or they pass. Overall, I'm pretty happy. The quality looks decent. Um, they're a little small, which of course I expect live bearers always to have parasites, so I will treat the bejesus out of them. They will get the uh, the trio of meds that I use, which is Furan 2, uh, General Cure, and Ickex. And I will also feed them with anti-parasite. Right, folks, I'm going to uh, go take care of the gut food No, just from everything aquatic that has fenbendazole or levamisol in it. I might hit them with both just to make sure. All right, fishy folks, I'm gonna go take care of the plecos and I'll be back. Well, all right, fishy folks, it is the next morning, eh, 12, 13 hours later. Uh, looks like, sorry, looks like uh, we've lost at least one more female and I don't see any males that we lost from the mutts, which is good. It's hard to see. Black tub is dumb, but it's all I had. Unfortunately, we've lost most of the longfin brown plecos. Uh, you can see there's one deceased on the bottom. The water is yellow from the Furan too. Uh, I did see one or two others swimming. But uh, that's it, I can't find most of them, so I have to do some research and get them out of the tank. Uh, I don't see the red cobras, not red cobras, red, super red plecos, they might be hiding. Like I don't see any of them, that's weird. 
Hold on. Oh, they were just chilling in the caves, so they're probably okay. Uh, looks like the long fins, albinos, looks like they're okay. I have to double check. Um, you know, I'm gonna feed them and make sure they're doing well. The lemon blue eyes, I did see a bunch in here. I didn't see any upside down or floating, so that's a good sign. I did speak to the supplier, and uh, she said they were very small. She doesn't normally ship them that small, but that's all she had. <coughs> I'm fine. That's all she can get, so. Uh, you know, when you order wholesale, sometimes there, you know, there is no recourse if you have DOA. It's just a fact of life. Um, this particular wholesaler, it's the first time I've ordered from her, and uh, we had great email conversations. I am not really concerned over a few DOA out of 200 guppies. Uh, we talked about the plecos. We talked about why. Hey, look, there's another calico, big calico pleco in there. Sorry. Uh, anyway, we talked about uh, the plecos, and she's going to take care of me. I, I wasn't really concerned, to be honest, but... That's a, a business decision, so that does it for the wholesale unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. Nope. Yeah. They temperature acclimatized. Acclimat they temperature. They've temperature acclimated. Yeah. All right, fishy folks, that does it for the wholesale boxing. That's not true. 